I get the chills just talking about it. My father became very ill when I was here. I remember walking down the corridor as clear as a bell toward the epilogue office with Sister Marie of the Trinity. And she had heard about my father and she was standing in the doorway watching me come. And by the time I got there, I was in tears. She had this marvelous balance of empathy, sympathy, and I will forever associate that feeling, that support, and that um, treating me as an adult with a manual. It made a great difference. While the world has changed, the core values of this place have not changed, and the family spirit and investment in the students has not changed. I walked around here a little bit before I came in. They all say hello. <laughs> they speak. They're friendly. They're open. They're intellectually bright. They're intellectually honest. When I hear that someone has a job or what they're doing and they're from Emmanuel, um, I take a deep breath and say, of course. But everything else that a graduate of Emmanuel comes out of here with is so badly needed to be the ballast in places, you know, to be the sound and reasonable voice. I think we need as many of them as we can get in this world today. I think we are very fortunate to have this place and to see it grow and thrive and to see the young men come in is wonderful because that's what growth and evolution of places in the world is all about. And that's what Emmanuel is preparing the students today for, as they did in my day. <laughs>